Assalamu alaikum and good morning madam. Today we will present on our mini project CSC510. The system was created to each student and lecturer also encourage the student to learn about the topic by themselves as it helps students to improve their knowledge about the rules of inference and the topic. First of the system. First, difficult to memorize the rule of inference. Students have problem to memorize the A rule because they tend to miss up the formula. Next, many miss the unconverting hypothesis. Students become confused in converting hypothesis from English to propositional logic. Next, difficult to interpret how the rule is functioning. Student doesn't understand the function of each rule and cannot differentiate between the rules. We move to our group members, Rose and Duty, Nur Alia Aisha as project manager, Aida Natasha and Norizam as system developer, Ahmad Farhan and Atira Hawa as system analyst, Aiman Nabiha and Nuru Anissa as programmer, and Nur Shakila as user interface designer. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So now I will present to you our inference engine. So let's get started. Okay. So this is our full coding of our inference engine project. And okay, so this is the function for output rule. So we got modus ponens, modus tollens, hypothetical syllogism, this function syllogism, addition, simplification, conjunction, and resolution. Okay, so for function output premise 1, so this is the premise 1 that we have. Okay. So next, this is output premise 2. Okay, so next, this is the, our, our output result, which is our conclusion. What will happen? Okay. So this is uh, output premise result function. This is to show if our statement valid or not. Because we call the function in here. Okay, so if it's valid, it will uh, display the statement is valid or else the statement is not valid. So this is a uh, calculate button to calculate to show the output, the correct output. And it will show uh, the statement and all. And this is the reset button to reset uh, the output. Okay, so this is our interface. Now I will get started. Okay, let's wait for a while. Okay. Okay, so this is the interface of our inference engine okay so i will show you the modus tollens um rules i will write here ali works hard and for argument q ali is a do boy okay for modus tollens first Premise is P implies Q. So P implies Q is number 7. So for premise 2 is not Q, which is number 5. Okay, so the rule is modus tollens. So when P implies Q, conjunction with not Q, we will get not P not p here so we will calculate here so the statement is statement is valid because our premise and our conclusion here is correct but let's say if i write here q not q which is a wrong conclusion and we will calculate it the statement is not valid so I will try another rules. Let's try hypothetical syllogism. For hypothetical syllogism is P implies Q with Q 
Q imply R. Q imply R is number 10. And hypothetical syllogism. Okay. I will add Ali will get a job here. Okay. So the conclusion we should get is P. P implies R. Okay, so let's calculate it. P implies R. It's correct and hypothetical syllogism. And the statement is valid. And let's say if I write it wrong, which is P implies Q. When I calculate it, it's, the statement is not valid. Okay, so that's it. Um, we we'll reset it and this is exit button to exit our inference engine. Okay, thank you. In this case study, we learn the study of discrete structure is about propositional logic in rule of inference and argument in propositional logic is a sequence of proposition. Final proposition in the argument are called premises and the final proposition is called conclusion. In conclusion, the major purpose of the system is to show how to convert hypothesis from the English statement to the propositional logic. Once convert, the system will apply the correct rules from inference engine to the propositional logic until we are able to prove the statement is valid or not. That's all. Thank you.